between being oh, itty bitty babies. Sure. Oh, there's a good boo. I'm Corbin Maxey, and today my friend Becky, the mother of squirrels, <laughs> paid a visit to my house. And today we're gonna learn all about squirrels. Becky, honestly, I've never had a squirrel on my head. It looks good on you. Does it look good on me? It I'm, looks good on I told you. you I want to make sure it doesn't mess up my toupee. Are you kidding? I would say this should be the new fashion toupee. Have you always had a passion for squirrels? No, believe it or not. No. I've always <laughs> had a passion for rescuing animals. However, squirrels are a recent addition, but it has been a wonderful addition. You're here today to tell us why squirrels make awful pets. They are fabulous when it comes to keeping you entertained in your backyard or in the park or anything like that. However, when it comes to having a pet, there are far better options available out there and many more animals that need deserving homes that should be adopted rather than taking one from the wild. Yes, and someone watching YouTube might be like, okay, then why are you holding these adorable animals and being like, they make bad pets? And I am a rescuer working with the Animals in Distress organization and these are wild squirrels who were either abandoned, their parents were, were killed, they have no other options than to go to a rescuer who can take proper care of them until they are old enough to be released back into the wild. So these are wild squirrels. These are wild and, squirrels. And you said that the males get aggressive? They do. They get phenomenally aggressive about twice a year when it comes time for mating season. In fact, here's a fun fact for you. Okay. Male squirrels will get so desperate to actually continue to mate with female squirrels that they will go and destroy nests and throw baby squirrels out. Oh my gosh. They will really? kill them. If and they get attached to their owners, right? They do. That's the other thing, too. When a squirrel finds somebody that they connect with, say like a rescuer or somebody who's taking care of them, and if you keep them for too long and they cross that threshold of when they should be released and not released, they will become very territorial of not only their area, but of you as well, and will bond with you so strongly that anybody else within your circle is seen as a threat. If you're desperate for a rodent and you want something that's very fun, yes. because squirrels are a member of the rodent family, you want to take a look at ferrets, mice, gerbils, hamsters, guinea pigs, anything like that. Just leave the squirrels outside. Leave the squirrels outside. Becky, thank you. Thank you so much for Such all your pleasure. work. Thank you for coming to my home and bringing squirrels. Yay! My wife is thrilled. She appreciates it. They're so cute. I They're so cute. Squirrels. Bye, everybody. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe, comment, uh, let us know what you think about Becky, her squirrels. <laughs> She's okay. <laughs> Becky's okay. Oh my gosh, Becky. Yeah, Look oh. at her butt. <laughs> uh, please comment though. Let us know not what you think about Becky. Please but... don't tell me what you think. I'm already in therapy. <laughs> I don't need more. As I put you on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep drinking. What do, you think of Be what do you think of Becky? Okay, so thank you. Please let us know what you think of this video. Comment, give it a like, and subscribe. Thank you. I love you guys. Until oh, next bye. time. Boom.